back to the channel. So today's video is going to be a September videos. I know I'm a bit late filming it, but hey ho, I have been busy. I haven't had time to film a lot more content, but I'm trying to get into it. So, um, I like doing these favourite videos to talk about and show them what things I film each month. This is the one. one. Uh, so I've got two food items and the rest of the music and theme programs and September favourites. So we'll go on to it. So the first two items are both in the same brand, but I've got no bras to show because I've got them all. Right. So it is Skinny Dreams Millionaire Shortbread. So you get five bars in it and it's 75 uh, calories. And then you've got the Skinny Whip. So this is coconut and duck chocolate. So you get five bars again, and this is less than eight calories. Um, I mean, it was a wee bit dark chocolate for me, but I don't mind it. I really like dark chocolate. Um, oh, sorry. But I love these like millionaire shortbreads. I will be buying these again. Um, but these are two in the flavors. I think there's another one, which I do have in a moment, but I won't be showing it probably till um, October's favorites. But these are two in the flavors. Um, so you can get an Asta, you can get a Bean M, which I think if there's any others. Um, it's probably a little bit like there's supermarkets, but I can't think of top man. Um, but that's just two of the type items. So we'll go on to TV and then we'll go on to music. So the first TV program is Street Club Dancing. So this is on BBC One or Saturday nights, but the times always change because it's dependent on schedule. Uh, but I love this, watching this every year, like the celebrities and professionals taking part each year in how they get on, the progress and how they get on each dance and it has got to Halloween week which is my favourites on Strictly and um, so like seeing like the production, how they get on the performance and dancing, uh, hair, makeup, the outfits, can't wait and I'm just looking forward to it but if you missed any episodes of the new series or maybe I think there's a couple of old series of it on the new but there you go. So the next one is a hit list. So this is a music game show hosted by Marv and Michelle Holmes. It was on Saturday nights on BBC One. So it's like normal contestants and there's a couple of celebrities pairs. Um, so you've got to guess the band or singer and the song title. Um, but it's kind of good entertainment music quiz show if you love it. Um, and the money is ten thousand to win it. Um, then we've got Slam the Masters, which was from BBC One. This was on three days, but I can't remember. I think it might have been Tuesday. Tuesday, hmm. Wednesday, was it? I could be like wrong. I know it was on three days, but because it's been a while since I've done this. I love like watching this every year. It doesn't matter if it's like the celebrity one, um, content, normal contestants, or if it's like the fashion one. Uh, I love how they like, progress or the journey, cooking and uh, creating amazing dishes of food on it. If it's like hard, stressful challenges, like professional restaurant, you could get out there. Uh, cooking like one hours and condensing to part analyses of celebrity chef if you can. Um, cooking for like chefs, food critics, um, normal people, it depends on challenges, but it's amazing to use. But if you've not seen, the recent series or other um, series of Slim Master if it's on BBC Apple Um I think I've got yeah, two more TV program music. So the next one is a wheel. This is on BBC One at Saturday nights. Uh, it's hosted by uh, Michael McIntyre, which is so funny. Um, so you get a celebrity panel who come with uh, a category who which can test as a guest and get the question right within the category, which is so good and it's funny and it's good to get to the Saturday night. <laughs> so the last TV program in September favourites is Black Pink. This is on BBC One on Saturday night, so you'd have like, should come dancing, then you'd have the wheel, and then you'd have like Link. But I don't know if when I'm getting taken off, because uh, of all Black Pink and October favourites, um, there's a show called Survivor, which is hosted by Joe Donegal. I think I'll probably see this anyway. I know it is, but it's top of the camera. It's not like a... It's a show that's been on before TV, but it's coming back, which I'm happy. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to go. Blank of Light is so amazing, it's funny. And of course, it's hosted by Brad Walsh. And it's good to you to watch it start reading. But if you've not seen it, it is on BBC Everywhere. That is the TV program and September favourites. 
then we go on to music. So September has been busy. Yep. So most of the music I'm talking about here, I have done reviews. Some of them might be a bit late. Um, but hey ho. And I don't think is there anything. Yeah, I think most of it's like I've done reviews and there's a few I've still done do. Because you just come to these like these um, favourite videos. Usually a lot of them out. <laughs> Which I'm trying to say that usually are not a lot of the music that I do use. It just depends when I get to it. So, the first one is Busted Good One. So this was a new song that Busted performed on their 20th anniversary and Greatest Hits tour. I love this song. It's so amazing live and anything with Busted actually. So we've got Leah Kate for um Anything that Leah Kate has been releasing with the singles, with collaborations, EPs, um, I just love Leah Kate because she's talented, she's an upcoming singer, um, and her music is so good and it's catchy and it's so violent, like stuff that she talks and writes in her music, which I love her music. So the next one I've got Olivia Rico Guts, so this is her second album after the follow up to her first album, Sewer. Yeah. Which I kind of was, and they've got the same theme because the first album had Folios, so the second album had Guts. So, are we carrying the theme like an album? Or she can, but this album's so amazing, it's like pop, it's rock, it's emotional, it's ballads. But I love, like, even though it's still like maybe something similar to the first album, to uh, so, but I love how she's trying different sounds and moves that you wouldn't think, okay, that. Um, Olivia Rico released, but I actually love her music and I was listening to it as well. So next one we've got Camille K1. So this is like a mini album I'd say, or an EP. But you see, you see like neither one, but Camille, oh my god, she's talented. Singer, somewhere. So this is like her own music, but you probably noticed that Camille is so talented because she has written so many credible, upbeat, catchy songs to other singers, bands, DJs, rappers or whoever in the music industry and she is so talented and I'm so proud of Camille and she deserves the recognition in the music industry and I can't wait to hear anything else from Camille. So then we've got Mima and so MTGL which stands for Baby That's Just Life. So this song is amazing, it's beautiful. Me Miller's voice is amazing. It's given me kind of Bridgerton vibes from this song as well. And um, I absolutely love the song. So we've got Demi Lovato revamped album. So Demi Lovato's least an album. So it's most of her singles that she's released in the past. Um, but it's only been like normal versions. She's revamped it and made it more rockier, emo kind of vibes. And I love anything that um, Demi Lovato's released in like pop, rock, emo kind of vibes at the moment because it suits her boys <laughs> and the album is so good I can actually listen to it at the moment. So we've got Emily. So I seen her at a SWG3 Glasgow at the 18th September 23. That gig was so amazing. It was like intimate. It was my first time being, <laughs> being in a um, venue, SWG3, which was a standing event. Um, and I think they've got like another one downstairs, I think, because it was upstairs. Um, but I would go to the again. And it wasn't far when I thought it would be, but anything that, that Amory does, like if it's Ultimate or Internet Story or if it's like Rena's, I just love her because she's so talented and she puts on incredible shows always. Um, the next one is Busted 20th Anniversary and Greatest History at the Oval Hedge in Glasgow. This was the 20th of September 23. So even though I've seen Amory on 18th, <laughs> so it's like busy. But I was so looking to hearing, hearing and seeing one of my childhood bands, Busted Grown Up. Because um, of course it was a teenager at the time when it came out. When I was about 13, 14 years old. Um, I just love the music and it's so good to have them back with of course like celebrating 20, 20 years in the, why can I speak, what did I say 20 years 
in the music industry, which was like amazing achievement to have in life, and I feel old. <laughs> and it was like the Great Sits as well, so it was kind of like most of the stuff, like the 2.0 kind of era, like the album. Um, we had Good One, uh, we had Hanson came on, who was spot at, and they performed two songs, Sleep With Lights On, and they did the 2.0 version of Hanson something but um, but it was a kind of night and I kinda wish I went to more nights of the concerts um date the one jersey um but before that I got to got to meet busted because they didn't like, oh, staying at the venue but because it was so busy because it was like it seemed like you turn up you didn't have a sorry about ticket but you had to buy the album at it and um, it was busy but I mean I still got to talk to them and it was a good day as well. Then we've got Kay Logue. This is her single Tension. So it's the same title to the album Tension, which we'll probably talk more uh, later on this video. But I love anything that Kay Logue has listened to. It's like pop, you get in dance, you get in disco. I love anything that Kay Logue does. And uh, she's not afraid to try and like new styles of music. And this song was so good and catchy. And. Oh, sorry. And Kelly Logue was incredible and they deserve two attention as well. Then we've got Man Sevilla, Seven Petit Songs album. Oh my god, this album is so good. Anything we're managing at the moment, I just absolutely love her boys. She's so talented and if you've not heard this album, go and listen to it because I absolutely love this album. Me. <laughs> then we've got Sapphire Comet. Anything that Sapphire has listened to. Like her own music, EPs, if it's covers, collaborations, anything, her voice is so incredible. She a singer song from the UK and the song is incredible and beautiful. Then we've got me Miller, sorry Emily, um so this is her debut album and you know what? I'm absolutely proud of me Miller because this album is amazing. It's upbeat, it's catchy, it's shown like who she is, her personality, her journey and just anything that she wants to talk about and her music and just so proud of her on this amazing debut album, Sorry Emily. Then we've got Busted Great Set 2.0 album, which I do have a copy of it signed, but I can't be bored <laughs> to go and get shown. Um, but you've probably seen it like when I do like a view video, whenever it comes, because that's one of the videos I haven't done a view yet, because that's when it's busy. But as like it wasn't like one album, it was two, so like one was like, it is both from Grace to two, but one was just like busted on its own with the uh, um, amazing hit songs and a good one as well. And then the second one was collaborations with singers and bands who the artists or bands have to listen to and to busted or want to collaborate with them. Um, but I'm just wondering, and they finally got the number one album in Yukicha, woohoo! Finally, so I'm happy. So the next one is Aston Minigold, um, right here. I'm so proud of Aston Minigold and his solo career at the moment. Uh, he releases like music like if it's pop, upbeat, R&B, dance, um, of course he's one fourth of Miss Manchelis, and they are doing like their tour and, um, at the moment. Um, October and November, um, and even though like each member of Julius are doing like their own like, stuff, like material, like, um, but they are coming back like post the tour, which I mentioned, which I've got to, ooh, ooh, which will be in uh, November's favourites. Um, but I'm hoping they'll release like, more music or in an album. Um, home but just have to be seen. So the next one is Arishi William um, Showdown but if you probably who it is it's another member from GLS one fourth okay I'm so proud of, like each member of GLS like from Aston Arishi uh, Marathon and GB like of course like they're doing little like, things like it's TV presenting game shows so careers um, charity work um, what the wrong farm, um, West End musicals, um, whatever. I mean, I'm just proud of them, but 
I just didn't know that. And this song is so good. It's upbeat, it's catchy, it's got R&B dance kind of disco based up, but it's so good. And you should voice is amazing. So we've got Zara Larson and David Guetta, Oh My Love. So they have collaborated again, but this song is so good, amazing collaboration. Uh, anything that Zara Larson at the moment, like her own music, or collaborations, or cover, or whatever music she loose, her voice is amazing, she's so talented, and I just love the song, I can't stop listening to it. So the next one is Bella Poach and Lul. I think I'm saying that right, um, Crush. So this song was like so good pop. It's getting like summer kind of ways a bit, even though summer's finished. Because we're on like autumn now. Um, but I just love the song and everything. It's Bell Poach. I just love listening to it at the moment. So we've got to Tate Marie McGree. It is so good to have Tate Marie back with a new song called Greedy. It's so catchy. It's uplifted, anything with Tate Marie's voice. I absolutely love listening to it, and it's one of those ones you just can't stop listening to. 247, of course. Then we've got Leanne and Ayat Star, My Love. So, this is Leanne's second debut single after her amazing debut single, Don't Say Love. And this song is going to be pop, upbeat, RB, Jamaican kind of based it, and this collaboration is good, like, between Leanne and I have Star's voices, they're amazing, and I can't stop listening to the song or sing it when you hear it on the video, of course. So, the next one, I've got Kyle Mold Tension Um, which I absolutely love this album, it's like so good. And uh, anything that Kyle Mold's listening, um, like collaboration or her own music, it's amazing always. And I love how she's not afraid to tend, um, she's not afraid to tend new music or say that. And uh, gender you think, mm, would she be a right to listen to it? But you know what? Kevin pulls it off and this album is incredible and it wasn't the one in UK. Oh my god. Then we've got Marshmallow and Dove Cameron are our boys. Marshmallow just keeps making amazing collaborations with Half to Hit. So he's worked with Bastille, Demi Vato, uh, Selena Gomez. Um, and Marie, the list goes on and on, but that's just who, and he has collaborated with Doug Cameron, which I absolutely love this collaboration between Marshmallow and Doug Cameron, and this song is so good, and anything that's got Doug Cameron in it, Chef Kiss, her voice is amazing, and I just love this listening to the song. So the next one I've got Pixie Lot, Build My World, Bracket Live at Tape Studio, this song is amazing, it's beautiful, it's emotional, it's powerful and it's a tribute to her first child, which is such a lovely thing to do for the song, but, um, but I just love the song and I think Pixie Lock's voice is amazing. So the next one is James McVeigh, Blood and Bones. <coughs> if you didn't know who James McVeigh is, he is one fourth of the amazing man the Bamps. And this is his next solo song, Blood and Bones, and it's amazing, it's beautiful. It's an emotional song and anything with James McVeigh <coughs> voice, I just love listening to it. I could listen to it for seven and I wouldn't get fed up and hear his voice. Because he's so talented and it's just showing who he is and his personality and he writes and makes music that is likeable and talks about certain topics that James McVeigh wants to talk about and I'm just proud of him and I can't wait to hear um, more music from James McVeigh. Then we've got Ayana Rico, Malibu. But I absolutely love the song. It's so different. I wouldn't think um, Ayana release this, but it's like, okay, it's something different. It's a bit bold, but it's so catchy and upbeat. And I cannot stop listening to it because it's like so good and it's so different. And I kind of wait to hear it. So the last one in September favourites is Me Miller. Um, written by a woman. So I've kind of got things wrong. So I kind of said that um, the other one I did mention was the original babes, but it's not. 
Oh, I just cannot think because my brain is going much. So, written by women has got the Bridgerton vibes to it. I don't know if I, got, I was going to get mixed up. So, this song is amazing, it's beautiful. And anything that me email is just listening, I absolutely listen to it and I'm just proud of her. But sorry if I made it mixed up on both of these songs because my brain is going mush and I just cannot think because it has been a long, long day. So, sorry about that. But most of the music that I've talked about, like um, singles, the like, two tour dates I went to, uh, albums, they'll be linked down below for check out. Um, but I'll be doing October favourites, I know that's late as well, because I'm just being so busy and I haven't time to film a lot more content than I usually would have, would have done. Because usually I would have filmed like three, three or four videos, but because I'm a bit busy now, um, I'm trying to find the time to be fitting some of these but I'm getting there but I hope you like watching this video of me talking and showing what I love and love in the last September. <laughs> Sorry if I'm not speaking right or if I'm just getting my words strung tied. Sorry it's just been a long day for me. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do give it a thumbs up. If you're new to channel, hello. I hope you enjoyed this video and the rest of your term. If you enjoyed watching, then please give it a see down below, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video and the other videos on my channel. If you've been here for your until this video and the rest of the channel and you're still not subscribed, mm -hmm. well, it is free down below, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video and the rest of the channel. But if you've already done it, then subscribe, like, and watch, and comment, and give it a support to my channel. Press the bell, add ding ding ding, because I give you more notifications. When I upload them on this channel, which I'm kind of get a bit more back into, but there is a bit of stuff that I've already filmed, so it's ready to put on the channel, and I'm getting back into filming. So I hope you're enjoying this video, what I've been loving in the last September, and I'll see you soon when I upload the video. So thank you for watching, and bye! I'm